Hey everyone, Josh Barmy here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Hirobumi Watanabe's fourth feature film, Party Around the Globe, which is um, either it's about to premiere or it already has premiered, depending on when this video gets out. But it's playing at the Tokyo International Film Festival, where his previous three films, Mudship Sails Away, Seven Days, and Poolside Man, all premiered at as well. Yeah, Party Around the Globe was pretty good. I don't think it's the director's best. In fact, um, I think Poolside Man and Seven Days rank above that. I did enjoy it, like I said. Uh, it seems to be this nice celebration of uh, life, cinema, family, friends. Uh, you know, it's just a it's just a feel good movie, uh, focusing on Gaku and Mimura as the main character again, as he wasn't poolside man and once again he doesn't say a single word through the film uh but his performance is different and in poolside man it was brooding and in this it's more relaxed and just uh kind of taking it easy and you know experiencing day-to-day -day life as we all do and yeah this film's easier to digest than his previous work which gets pretty dark in spots and uh, i i enjoyed it it was funny it, it seems like the mundane repetition that Watanabe's starting, well, not starting, has been doing in his film since Seven Days. Um, it seems like it's starting to wear a bit on me for some reason. I uh, I really don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, another director that it reminds me of is Hong Sang-soo from Korea. Uh, he's very repetitious in all of his works. But for some reason, it works really, really well in his films. And I mean, it, it works here, but uh, at the same time, this during this movie, I kept being like, "Come on, get to the get to the more interesting stuff." Um, uh, in this movie, it, they all like it's all like a choose your setting sort of thing uh, with each film. Uh, in Seven Days, it was Watanabe working at a farm. Poolside Man Gaku uh, Imamura works at you know the poolside, the inside pool, and then in this, they work in like a little electronic shop and they're repairing like computer motherboards and what have you and it's just like I don't know there's something about it that just didn't seem to really mesh quite as nicely as it had before in his other works um, that being said again I enjoyed it um, if I had to give it a rating I'd probably say like a four out of five uh, his movies are always beautiful and this one seems um, it's, no, it's weird, because it's nowhere near as repetitious as Poolside Man, which, again, in Poolside Man, it really worked. And this has much more variety and a lot more scenes. Uh, like, there's a baseball game, and, and there's some like, absolutely beautiful cinematography, as always, with Watanabe's films. Uh, his uh, cinematographer is Bang Woo Young. I think, I believe that's his name. Korean, obviously. Um, I believe. Um, yeah, anyway, this is a great movie, um, from the poster, which will be somewhere here, um. I was, I thought, I didn't think it was from the film, I thought it was a behind the scenes thing, because, uh, Watanabe's grandmother, who's in the film, she, and has been in all of his films, uh, she turned 100 this year, and they celebrated it in the film. Of course, it's staged in the film, but it was really a nice, beautiful moment that was captured um, on camera, and I just really, I really enjoyed the scene. It was funny, Watanabe played it uh, comedically, but it was really, um, it was really moving, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I know this is getting more into personal territory, but uh, he has brought his real life grandmother into all these movies, and it's gonna it's gonna be sad when she goes. I mean, obviously she's not gonna live forever, and I'm I'm actually gonna be highly upset when she passes. Uh, very very adorable woman, and I'm sure she has a fascinating history, and I would I would love to know that. So who knows? Maybe Watanabe will do some kind of documentary on his grandma one day, and I'll be there to watch it. So yeah, like I said, what, uh, if you've heard me discuss. 
Watanabe's previous works, you know what you're getting into. Black and white, very artsy, repetitious, slow cinema um, with like the likes of Chiming Yang and you know different directors like that. I wouldn't say he's like a lot of Diaz or anything like that where it's crazy slow cinema, but uh, it is very down to earth. And I think he's uh, one of the greats in those realms. And I really, again, I just, I want to see his works get discovered um, outside of Japan because he definitely, you know, he has a, the potential to have a following. And uh, he's slowly starting to get some fans and attention around different festivals and whatnot. So yeah, um, I guess the short of it is that I quite enjoy this movie. I don't think it's Watanabe's best. Um, I don't know how to say it because it kind of sounds like, you know, a negative, but it's not. I, it, it could potentially be my least favorite Watanabe film so far, but that's not to say it's bad because it's not. It's just, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I did, I did enjoy it, so I would recommend it, and I do recommend it. And again, I wish him all the best at the festival and his family and friends. Um, so yeah, it's a great little film that kind of captures and celebrates life in general. Um, I do recommend seeing it. Um, it comes out next year in Japan. Um, so it won't make my top 10 of this year like Poolside Man definitely will. Um, so it's, it's good. I don't think it's amazing or anything. But uh, it definitely has some great moments, and if you're a fan of his previous works, it sort of has these meta self-references. Uh, like, there's definitely a Poolside Man reference in there. Um, Watanabe and Gaku's characters. Gaku's a bit different, but Watanabe basically displays... They almost have that... Forget the uh, comedy style. Um, it's not Banzai. I don't think that's what it's called. The comedy style, like uh, the beat Takeshi and his partner had back in the day where one's like the funny silly man and the other one's like the straight man uh, Watanabe and Gaku definitely have that perfect comedic balance um, Gaku doesn't do anything he just sits there like a bump on a log and, and uh, Hirobumi just rattles a hundred miles a minute just word after word um, and he's really funny I like the uh, I like that it's central the central focus is around uh, Paul McCartney and the Beatles and it makes for some great um, hilarious conversation and jokes um, that he spews out so yeah um, I do recommend party around the globe and I really hope it does well for everyone so not really much more to say to it on that this is a bit long-winded of a review but um, these are the type of films that I would prefer people to see and that don't really get the attention they deserve. So I'm really hoping that this video sheds light on Hirobumi Watanabe a little bit more. And here soon I will be reviewing his first two films and The Mud Ship Sails Away in seven days. So if you liked my Poolside Man review um, or haven't seen it, check it out. Um, you know, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys here soon uh, with some more reviews. Take care, bye. All of you.